what is up everybody this is the insane one here back once again with another uh gameplay for destiny 2 week 2 for a season of the defiance and pretty much we last left off with meeting Mar meeting with marasov devram k and miss mithrax in the farm and everything when they were pretty much talking about how we have to pretty much they were uh, first off they didn't know if, if amanda holiday was it was either alive or dead so they were so but pretty much they were holding hope and everything like that so they had sent me to the edz to start a battleground to free the prisoners that were captured by the shadow legion because the shadow legion is all over the system capturing prisoners for some reason i don't, I don't think it was explained yet but that's pretty much what they've been doing so then we it turns out literally in the first minute of landing Mar amanda holiday was already alive so then we we rescued her from the prison after well actually we went into the ascended realm to get our way into the pyramid i believe if i'm correct it was the pyramid and then we rescued amanda holiday and then of course her and crow had re well, i wouldn't really say reunited but they ran into each other she put a slug in crow's chest because he didn't want to announce his presence so that's what happened and uh pretty much that's all that's been going on so far so without wasting our time let's jump on into week two of season of defiance Pyramid outposts in the EDZ, and now the Cosmodrome? I wonder what the witness is driving at. Perhaps its campaign of terror on Earth aims to divert attention from Neptune. Or perhaps it aims to break our spirit. Shows how much it knows. We don't take our eyes off the ball, we damn sure don't quit. Go ahead, get Oh, I got it still. Somehow, I still got it. There goes another pyramid of Giza. Jesus. They got these ships just landing here all the day. No. I thought the Cosmodrome was dreary enough, but compared to this, it looks positively cheerful. That's saying a lot for someone who hangs out at the EDZ. Oh, I don't know. Trostland has a certain old world charm to it. We need to get you out more, Devram. After all this is over, how about I take you for a joyride? We'll see the sides. Good idea. I'll bring Mark. We'll make a double date. Who the fuck is Mark? But, uh... Cosmodrome for the first time in the Ascendant Realm. I think that's the only reason why they're making these Ascendant Realms so they can... Though they appear chaotic, the Taken are still bound by a psychic command structure. Right. Let's target their leadership, Guardian. I don't think that's the reason why they keep making everything with an Ascendant Realm. They're trying to show off what all the other planets look like in Ascendant Realm. Watch. There's going to be a season on Neptune. Put it in the Ascendant Realm. Put a season on Mars. Put it in the Ascendant Realm. I just did all that on my own. Taking essence, evanescence. I'm going on the crate. Carl, so take and have arrived. My bullets has arrived. Oh. 
Someone's cocky. Back the hell up. What an idiot. Oh, look, paper. Bit Saturday. It's throw shit Thursday. They were the thing go. It's strange that the pyramid appears perfectly identical in reality and the ascendant plane. All else seems a bit scattered. Both are expressions of the darkness, aligned perfectly to the will of the witness. I know a lot of folks feel different, but I still don't trust anyone using the darkness. Even for good. No offense, Queen Mara. But I thought she was going to say no offense to us. Loading! Because you know, you do know we you, we wield stasis, right? How, how the hell did we get locked? Watch yourself, Guardian. You walked into a kill box. The very environment has been engineered to eliminate you. Steal your resolve and push forward. That's so lame. How the hell did we get locked into a hole? Hey, how are you already dead? Right into it, you fucking moron. Friendly reminder, rocket jumping is not a thing. Give me that boon or favor. Boom. Oh shit. Favors. Catch it. What the fuck did he just do? How the hell did I fall? Did I get like trying to kitchen have expelled you from the pyramid? They fear your power. There's got to be another way in, right, Queen Mara? The Ascendant Plane envelops the material world like a mist. It leaves nothing untouched. So I'll take that as a yes, I hope. I was going to go an alternate route, but there was a favor right there. I had to pick it up. They did be the favor of giving me a favor. I 
I guess the third guy left. Maybe, maybe I guess this mission was too much for the little guy. friend ah, ah. all right who the hell is it you again our prisoners are on site just one more squad to go through before they're free just one more squad no to be a guardian this fight is on site tripping what the fuck behind me. Did somebody just hit me? Oh look, his I said. Somebody forgot to lay down the law. Another favor. No. Nah. Oh, I picked up the wrong thing. Take that. He can take damage now. Man, just ran the hell away. Bless me. Excuse me. My man sent us to the, to the highway. The highway to hell. Trippin'. his ass all the way back to Narnia. I'm not going in there. It only allows me when it when I when I when I truly need it, not when I want it. That's how Narnia works. Dang, he's just across the road. everywhere. Dude, I can still shoot you. I'm just putting that out there. I think you need to know that. Oh, 
a favor. Oh, if I catch it on time, I can throw it again. Let's get it on! Free prisoners. Your assistance has been invaluable, Holiday. But the Guardian and I are sufficient for what lies ahead. I suggest you recuse yourself from further combat for your own safety. With all due respect, Your Highness, you can stick that right up your distributary. It ain't Guardians being snatched up by the Shadow Legion. It's ordinary folks like Devram and me. I'm in this fight till all our people are safe. End of story. Your spirit is commendable, if ill-tempered. You remind me of Petra. I shall advise you no further. I can't... I can't give him the boom. Oh, he left. My dude. Why'd you leave? What do you got for me, Devrim? I assume it's you, right? Nope. Hello, Guardian. Though I suppose I should hail you as a fellow Queen's Guard now. When Mara performed her ritual, she knighted all of us, with and without the light. You light bearers are the only ones who can draw on her power, of course. But for the rest of us, like Ms. Holiday and Mr. Mithrax, it's nice to be included. So Devrim K. Queen's Guard. Hmm. Quite like the sun, that. I think when the witness did whatever it did to the traveler, it sought to destroy our hope at the source. That didn't happen. Humans and Elixni, officers and civilians, we banded together. Stronger than before. That's what our enemies don't understand. When things are at their worst, that's when we are at our best. I'm looking forward to the battles ahead. So that's the bullets. Well, I gotta use that weapon to, uh, whatchamacallit, finish the things. Devrim, I had heard of you before our first meeting. Oh? Good things, I hope. There is much good. But you were feared as well. If my reputation is for keeping the people of the EDZ safe, then I don't regret it. But I hope we can work alongside one another now. We have one life, and our lives are not for us alone. Mine is for my daughter, and my house. Yours is for your partner and your people. We share much. Outside the city, we can't always depend on the Guardians. And the Traveler... Eh, ...has been somewhat inscrutable. I once believed that the Great Machine had brought the Light to Reese and to the Guardians because they were worthy of it. Then I... ...I questioned this understanding. My belief became... ...hollow. to ensure their safety. Now, we can do so for each other. Human and Elixni. Yes. I do not know the Great Machine's will. But the light provides. It does. go again with this thing. Can I do this one? Nope. They want me to always do that. I don't know what that's for.
Hail, Queen's Guard. I felt you reaching out. You shine as a beacon of ascendant power. Maintaining my connection is demanding, but by observing your astral wake, I am discovering ways through the ley lines that have never been charted before. You're welcome. As you move through the ascendant plane, you consecrate it on a paracausal level. Its borders fray and yield to your touch. The corruption within withers as you approach. For someone of your ability, one step through that darkness can equal a thousand on this plane. Ten thousand. Ten million. A Shadow Legion prison ship drifts above us amidst the stars, far beyond our range. Or so they believe. Come to me and I shall open a path. Show them. Nothing is outside your reach. So you wanted me to leave the farm to come to the helm, to leave the helm to come to the farm, and I could have done all that at one go. Great. Ah. Get my zeal going. Cause I need to, I need to deep sight things. Oh yeah, I, I saw a Techian sitting on the thing. Yeah, a whole ass Techian statue. Another one. The newest Shadow Legion prison is all the way up in orbit. That's too hot a drop, even for me. Distance is no obstacle for one traversing the Ascendant Plane. Show them, Guardian. First time running through the farm with our guns. The wonders of the Ascendant Plane never cease to amaze. I hadn't considered it a form of space travel. The longer I've known the Guardians, the fewer rules hold up. Gravity, time, even death get all jumbled. And yet, the basic rules of right and wrong never seem to waver, do they? Not for us. That's what gives me hope in all this craziness. Obviously, there we go again. You see the farm? Put it in the ascended realm. Next, what's next? The tower put it in the ascended realm? And then the helm in the ascended realm? Everything just wants to be in the ascended realm. thing I got my own damn thing. They're falling off the cliff. I thought all the ones that was like near nearby got picked up. I mean got taken out.
bitch! He ah! literally got in the goddamn way. Like, he wouldn't even allow me to hit the ground because of his ass. I knew it was gonna be them damn rocks that I saw in the sky from the farm. That must be the prison ship in the distance. Fuck Looks like we're gaining ground. If the Guardians keep up like this, they're gonna put us pilots out of a job. I know how you feel. I've traded fire with a Cabal for hours just to watch a Guardian destroy them in seconds. It's not a question of efficiency. It's about heart. Without people like you holding us together, we'd be back in the Dark Ages. I don't think anybody needed that. No, they, I think I think they were making jokes, Crow. You know jokes. Die? What the hell happened? Okay. What the hell is this? Deploy go. Sound like somebody just laughed. is volatile somehow. Oh, right, as I defend while he hacks. Welcome to the party. Nice to know you decided to join us. Goofy ass. What the hell do you think he was doing? down now.
Ghost got us the intel we needed. Looks like the prisoners are in the hangar bay. I just intercepted some comms chatter. The Shadow Legion are pulling gunships back in support. Yeah, things are heating up out there. Let's get this done before the whole fleet shows up. Have we entered in any direction? understand the secondary I don't get how how I get that boom I mean, I'm killing people with the special well they say it's special I mean this I, mean, I guess it's not really considered special it's considered a primary so I have to actually use why are you only shooting at me Goddamn Prasad, since I'm aboard the Glycon. That's your eyes are getting. been given a favor. That was going on in the back of my ear. Very, very, very unnecessary. Last bite. Get out of the way. Not on the EDV. I'm in space. Oh damn! How'd I die? Where are you at? Oh damn. Get out of the way! We got another we got another spot to go to. Excuse me. You know if I got a little wedgie.
Dang. has been going on for long before we came along. It's just our turn. You never did meet a friendly face you wouldn't stick your neck out for. And Mark would hate it if I let anything happen to the Peregrine Opera House. No way around it, then. Guess we better save the day. He left before I can even do anything. Hey, Guardian. We were just grabbing a little downtime. Gotta celebrate your successes, you know? Amanda told me we must not forget to kick it back. <laughs> oh, we have accomplished much and saved many lives. That's right. There's no I in team, but there is an A and an M. Please don't tell folks I said that. But Everybody yeah, knows. we're a team. Any door I can't hack open, you splice through. We are in this together. It is a privilege to join you. You and the Vanguard welcomed us as honored guests in your city. Guests? The city is your home. When I first showed up at the gates, I felt like I belonged. And that's how it should be for everyone. I had thought you were born there. No, nope. I got there later. Same as you. Amanda, you know our story, but I would very much like to hear yours. I mean, Amanda was there in Destiny 1. Trippin'. So I guess we're gonna see Amanda's story now. It's weird. I grew up on the road. Long as I could remember. My family had been walking toward the last city. This is the same time they played for Zabal Zabal. My mama told me we'd be safe there. She said that was all that mattered. But at the time, all that mattered to me were the jump ships in the sky above. You want to see them chosen? I thought they were the greatest thing I'd ever seen. My folks tried their best, but the road's a dangerous place. When the House of Winter attacked, my mama fought him off best she could. House of Winter? Him killed a captain before they shot her. Pneumonia got my daddy not long after. I'd heard tales of people resurrected, chosen for immortality, but not them. They were just gone. When I finally reached the last city, I knew my mama was right. I'd be safe there. Okay. I was finally home. I learned to fly as soon as I could reach the stick. I never had powers like the Guardians or a ghost to resurrect me. But in the cockpit, I'm every inch as tough. How come your ship can shoot but mine can't? Now, every time I fly, I remember where I came from and who I'm fighting for. And that's all that matters. How can she see you? Those things have tinted windows. But once again, how come your ship gets to shoot but mine has to just be there for style?
Thank you, Amanda, for your story and your spirit. Yeah, well, we've come a long way, huh? There's nothing in your cup, Mr. Yes, right. we have. How do you drink? And there, once again, there's nothing in your cup. How could you do that? You uh, want to explain how the hell she can do that? Mara, what about you? Are you just gonna keep on standing there with open arm? Oh, you actually stopped? You actually can stop? Then why, why do you just be standing there with your arms all open and shit? Devram, you're a great shot. I could use your skills on recon missions. Kind of you to say, old boy. But Amanda and I don't have the luxury of resurrection. My station in the church is already more perilous than poor Mark can bear. Of course. You're right. You're doing more than some hunters with lives to spare. Who the hell is Mark? Hey, let's get it on! Become quite the leader, Amanda. Impressive for a throttle jockey. No, you infantry boys are all the same. Tough talk when it's time for drinking, but when the shooting starts, you're crying for air support. You couldn't tell a pyramid from a priory that high up. You pilots need someone brave enough to set eyes on it. Brave or foolish? That's the eternal question, ain't it? <laughs> for the both of us, I'm sure. I'm It chaps my hide that the witness has this whole plane of existence to itself, but it's still got to make trouble on our doorstep. That is the nature of darkness. The witness will not compromise. It will not negotiate. Its victory must be total. Well, that's just unreasonable. Good, favorite. Hell of a time on that Shadow Legion ship, wasn't it? Of course, I joined for other reasons, too. When you heard the story, I needed a home, a family, some place to belong, just like Mithrax. He's amazing to work with. He's always so gentle around the tower. I forget he's an Elixney war captain. But man, I learned quick when we started tackling those prison transports. And once, he got jumped by two Legionaries, and when I turned to help, he just shouted, you need not waste your shells. Man, he's a tough old bastard, and I absolutely love it. Bringing the fight to them for a change? That's the kind of thing I joined the Vanguard for. He's the best patrol partner I've had in years. But I gotta keep our comms closed. Last week, Devram heard me call him Craw Daddy. He nearly laughed himself unconscious. <laughs> Never, just never, he'll never ever hold back his expression, especially with that whole baby dog situation and shit. Oh man, that's funny. Mizrax Kel. Aramis, I have nothing to say to you. I spared your life and you used it to return to your hate and violence. I will not thank you for your mercy or ask for your forgiveness, but I am not your enemy. You spoke this way before. I do believe your lies then. I will not do so now. I saved your daughter's life. I know she is the future of the Elixni, but the machine spawn will never allow us that future. Again and again, they cut us down when we seek to unify our houses. When we seek 
power for ourselves. They will never see you as their equal. And you believe that we are equals? You bow to the witness and a god of the hive. We are the leaders of our people, and we must find power where we can. You did the same when you chose to live amongst those who have slaughtered us for centuries. I have ended that violence. It has not ended. You just live behind our enemy's walls. Your house relies on hope as much as mine does. I want us to be free. To be gentle and care for each other. I want us to be weavers and dancers again. That is why you did not kill me. Because you want this as well. But until we control our own future, the Elixni will never be these things again. You know, she just is like a broken fucking record. Regurgitating the same fucking things all over again. Aramis is just as annoying as Osiris is. God, every time we hear her, oh, she's just blaming us for everything. Like, fucking Christ, shut the fuck up. God damn, somebody put a bullet in this bitch. What are you sweeping? I didn't even realize you had a broom in your hand. <laughs> oh shit. Rally up, Guardian. I won't say we got the Shadow Legion on the ropes just yet, but we're making progress. I meant to ask, how are you handling all this Queen's Guard stuff? Only thing that's changed for me is that Crow bowed and asked if he should call me Lady Amanda of Holiday. I told him to call me whatever he wants. I'm just glad he's finally recognizing my natural authority. Anyway, I like how things have been shaking out lately. Tearing through magic planes to bust into a Shadow Legion ship uninvited. That's the kind of entrance Cade would have liked. <laughs> Enough talk. Let's get back out there. Okay, so I got three. Let's see. I don't know. I got two more left. Well, guys, that was all for today's. Uh, well, this is like my second ver. This is my second playthrough, or at least video for this whole damn thing, and I'm already almost done with the shit. But, uh, because I've also been recording once again for an hour and 22 minutes and shit. But, uh, if you guys did enjoy today's little Season of Defiance gameplay, go ahead and leave a like and comment below sharing thoughts what you did think of today's video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you'll miss a coming gameplay for Destiny 2 and so on. But, uh, that was a pretty interesting story for, um, a pretty interesting Amanda Holiday story and everything like that. But, uh, so, but the one thing I do hate is all the time, every time Aramis comes on the shit, it's always gonna be, I'm already, I can already know what she's gonna say. Blame us, talk about, talk about the future, past, what all, what could be for the Elixir. Talk about like other shit and once again, blame us again. It's annoying. I, this, 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 that character just needs to be ended already, but whatever. But until then, peace out.